Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, square that has been uh, divided into four uh, triangles, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, yellow triangle is uh, 35 centimeter square. And moreover, the side length of this uh, square is uh, three times the square root of 14 centimeter. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area of a square equal to S square, where S represents the side length of the square. And in our case, uh, the side length of the square is 3 times the square root of 14. So therefore, the area of this square is going to be 3 times the square root of 14 whole square. And if we simplify this thing, 3 square is 9. 9 times 14 is 126. So therefore, the area of this whole square turns out to be 126 centimeter square. And now let's go ahead and make an observation. We can see that this is a point where all these uh, triangles inside this uh, square meet. So therefore, we are going to draw the horizontal and perpendicular lines that pass through this very same point. As you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram, such that these vertical lines are uh, parallel to each other. And likewise, uh, these horizontal lines are uh, to each other as well and as a result we are ended up with the four rectangles this is the very first one this is the second one this is the third one and this is the fourth one and now let me go over this uh, basic uh, concept we have got this uh, rectangle as you can see and this is our main uh, diagonal and this diagonal is going to divide this rectangle into two equal parts. In other words, we are ended up with two congruent triangles. If the area of this triangle is A, then this area is going to be A as well. So let's go ahead and apply this concept in our case. Let's focus on this rectangle. If the area of this triangle is A, then the area of this triangle is going to be A as well. And now let's focus on this uh, rectangle. If the area of uh, this uh, triangle is uh, B, then the area of this uh, triangle is going to be B as well. And now let's focus on this uh, rectangle. If the area of this uh, triangle is uh, X, then the area of this triangle is going to be X as well. And finally, let's focus on this uh, rectangle. If the area of this triangle is y, then the area of this triangle is going to be y as well. Now let's focus on this uh, yellow triangle. We know that this uh, triangle's area is a plus b, isn't it? And that is going to be equal to 35. So therefore, the area for this uh, yellow triangle could be written as a plus b equals to 35. And now let's focus on this uh, blue triangle. And we know its area consists of this uh, x and then this uh, plus y. So therefore, we are going to find the value of uh, x plus uh, y. And now here's our next step. Let's make an observation. We know that this whole square consists of these individual areas. This a plus a plus x plus x plus y plus y plus b and then uh, plus b this one as well and here i have added all these individual areas inside this uh, square and we know that the area of this uh, square is 126 so therefore this whole thing is going to be equal to 126 now let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side so this is going to give us uh, 2a plus uh, 2b plus 2x uh, plus 2y equals to 126. And now we can see that this equation is divisible by 2 across the board. So let me go ahead and divide by 2 across the board. 
So therefore, we are ended up with the A plus B plus X plus Y equal to 63 on the right hand side. Now we know that our A plus B value is 35. So I'm going to replace this one by 35. So therefore, this equation is going to become 35 plus X plus Y equal to 63. Let's subtract 35 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, our x plus y value simply turns out to be 28. And this is what we were looking for. So this turns out to be 28 centimeters square. So therefore, this x plus y value turns out to be 28 for this uh, blue triangle. So thus the area of this uh, blue shaded triangle uh, turns out to be a 28 uh, centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.